Fuck him, then I get some money. Yeah. Fuck him, then I get some money. Yeah. Fuck him, then I get some money. Yeah. Fuck him, then I get some money. Hey guys, my hockey, welcome back to my channel, and today I am back with a new video. And this video is gonna be a story time about the time that I almost almost got caught. I think I told my mother about this story before I actually tell it to you guys. I think I told her. And if I didn't tell you my sorry, but I think I did tell her. I, I'm like 90% sure that I told her. But yeah, this is gonna be a story time all the time where I almost got caught, caught. I almost got caught sneaking a boy out of my house. So if you guys are interested in the story time, then keep watching. So you guys know teenagers. When you're a teenager, you do bad stuff. I was never a bad kid though. I never like snuck out or anything like that. I had no reason to. I never really wanted to go anywhere anyway. And when I did, if I asked, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna get told yes, because I don't go anywhere. It's not like I'm always trying to be outside. So if I wanted to go somewhere, I could. It wasn't a big deal. But this particular night, nobody was home. I live with both parents and my little brother. So my little brother was not home. I think he spent the night with his friend's house. My father, I don't know where he was. And my mom went out with her friend. So it had to be like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And my mother, it was just me and my mother home. She was like, oh, I'm going out with, you know, my friend. So they were supposed to be going out, out, like club somewhere i don't know but they ended up not going where i thought they were gonna go so the boy that i was talking to at the time um he lived down the street like not like literally down the street but he lived like a good 10 blocks away yeah 10 10 11 blocks away so he i live like not too far from the train station so he was coming from somewhere, I don't know, it was so long ago. I had to be like 15, 16, it was like 2011, 2012. Probably 2012 if I remember correctly. But, so he, um, we talking, we texting, whatever, and he's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, like whatever, I'm home. I was eating my Chinese food, I was on my iPad, I was watching a movie, I was, you know, having a regular boring night like all the boring nights that I have in my life. I don't do anything. So I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna come over. And I'm like, um, so I'm like, um, okay. So he gets off the train and comes to my house. So my mother told me she was going out, like out, but she did go out, but she wasn't out as long as I thought she was going to be out. So. He comes over, nobody's home but me, okay? Just me. He comes over, he couldn't have been here no longer than an hour. He was not here long. My mother comes home, okay? So I'm like, in my room like, oh fuck, like trying not to panic, cause you know moms and you know, black moms. <laughs> I didn't want her, you know, the first thing I come to name on is, what are you doing now? So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So my mother knew who he was. Like, she knew that I liked him and everything. So, you know, it wasn't like no strange ass nigga in here, like whatever. Like, she knew who he was. I never brought him like around, but she knew who he was. I think she met him like one time before that. So she knew who he was. He wasn't a stranger. So, like, she had an idea about him, but she never, like, I never brought him over or anything like that. So, cause I was like 15 or 16. I think I was 16 though. So, so my mother comes home. I hear the door open. My room is upstairs. Soon as you walk up the steps, my room is right there. So I'm like, okay. So I get up. I'm like, I come out the room. I'm like, hi ma, like regular. I'm like, hi ma, she like, hi. So my mother is like, you know, regular. She ain't not thinking nothing of it. She ain't not expecting nobody to be here. So, cause usually when my mother comes home, she walks straight in my room. So I wanted to come out the room. That way she don't have to come in, you know, cause he's here, duh. So I'm telling him like, put on your shoes, put on your shoes. Like before I go, before I go out my room to see what my mother doing, I'm like, put on your shoes, hurry up, hurry, put on your jacket. He had on everything. We didn't do nothing. Just want to throw that out there. PSA, we didn't do anything, nothing at all. We didn't do nothing. So I'm like, put on your shoes, put on your jacket, whatever. Cause it's winter, it's mad cold outside. So I go out the room, I'm like, hi, Ma. She's like, hi. I'm like, what happened? I thought she was going out. She's like, oh, yeah, um, I don't know what happened with her plans, but she ended up only going to Footprints 
I'm like, really? Footprints? Footprints is right across the street. No, that explains why she was only gone for an hour. Probably an hour and a half. So I'm like, oh, okay. So my mother comes home. She goes in her room. I go back in my room. So I'm still telling him, like, yo, hurry up. So my mother goes to the bathroom. And she's like, Miji. That's what everybody called me. She's like, Miji, go downstairs and get me a towel because she's getting ready to get in the shower. I'm like, So I'm like, come on, hurry up, cuz cause, cause soon as you walk in my house, the stairs is right there. As soon as you get up the steps, my room is right in front of the stairs. So I'm like, this is perfect. So I'm like, come on, hurry up, run downstairs. So I'm taking I'm taking kind of long to get the towel for my mother, cause I'm like making sure he don't forget nothing. I don't want no signs. Uh, any niggas here, get your shit and get out. So he gets his stuff. So my mother, I hear her yelling. She like, hurry up, like ready for me to get the towel for her so she could get in the shower. So I'm like, all right, so I'm running down the stairs behind him. I'm running down the stairs. I go grab the towel, and then I have a gate, because I live in the house, I have a gate. So I'm like, I'm like telling him like at the front door, like, make sure you don't close the gate hard. Just close it lightly. Like, listen, I was not trying to get caught, like, at all. So I get downstairs. I'm opening the door for him so he can get out. And then I'm ready to lock the door. He runs out the door <laughs> and runs out the gate. And I run upstairs and go get my mother on towel so she can take a shower. And everything was great. So I did not get caught at all. I think he ended up leaving something. I think he left his charger here to his phone. But we went to the same school. I gave it back to him. But, um, yeah, so that is the story time on the time I almost got caught. I wonder what my mother would have did if I would have got caught. I mean, I don't really wonder, like, I'm glad that I didn't get caught, but I just wonder, like, because my mother's a little crazy. Not a little, she, she, yeah. Um, but I'm just glad I didn't get caught. So, that is the end of this story time. If you guys have, if you guys like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, I feel like I said everything. I don't think I left out anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let me think. No, I didn't leave out anything. I definitely didn't leave out anything. But I'm really glad I didn't get caught. And I'm really glad that my mother came in and not my father. Because my father would have caught me. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely had a problem. So thanks, Mom. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is the end of this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.